Hi, I'm Michael Sue Rosen, and I'm currently playing Alan in Torch Song on Broadway, and this is Playbills from Ballet to Broadway. <laughs> Michael Sue Rosen studied at the School of American Ballet for 10 years before making his Broadway debut in the 2009 revival of West Side Story, directed by Arthur Lawrence. It was a very exciting time, but I was sort of having a little bit of an identity crisis because I realized um, I had spent all this time specializing in this one area of performance, and there was still a part of me that was interested in other types of... of performing art, like acting and singing. And so as, as busy and as happy as I was to be first cast for, for a workshop, I was also dreaming of this other thing. And I, I heard on the street, literally through a friend who's not in the business, a family friend, that they were auditioning for West Side Story. So I went home and I Googled how to audition for a Broadway show, truly. And I landed on a website called playbill.com. I saw this open non-equity, like a non-union uh, chorus call for, it was the last one, and it happened to be on my day off from rehearsal. I had one day off a week from School of American Ballet. Six months later, I, I got the job, and I had to do it all in secret, because at the time I wasn't allowed to audition or to train even in other styles. So it was this sort of strange moment of, of defiance and aspiration, that sort of secret aspiration. Um, and then I was actually studying at the Miami City Ballet for the at the, if, over the summer when they called me back for the final callback for West Side Story on Broadway. And I had to fly, I had to fly up from Miami, and I booked it. After West Side Story, Michael was part of the cast of the 2014 revival of On the Town and has returned to Broadway in the revival of Harvey Firestein's Torch Song. Well, I say the biggest challenge has been establishing an identity for myself in this industry that's not just dancer. I'd say everything else has been a total gift. I really appreciated that I was able to take all this very technical training um, and apply it to a different style of movement. That wasn't a challenge, that was exciting. I think what I, what I found most difficult was maintaining my technique but that's been the hardest challenge, actually, is shaking people's idea of who I am based on my training. The ballet world teaches you incredible discipline. The Broadway world is where I found um, that kind of the, the empowerment to be my own individual creative force. So even if you're in the ensemble of a Broadway show, you're your own person. That, that, it, that was, I think, this, the most significant difference between the ballet and the Broadway world. In some of the projects that I've worked on in the theater, on, on Broadway and off-Broadway here in New York, I've gotten to really use my, my ballet training, not just um, to dance, but also to understand a world. For instance, I did a, a great play by um, Richard Nelson called Nikolai and the Others that David Cromer directed at Lincoln Center Theater, and I got to dance the, the role of Orpheus and play the real-life person Nicholas Magnanis, who was the, one of the first principals of the New York City Ballet. Um, and I, uh, I got coaching from Peter Martins and Rosemary Dunleavy for that project, and it was just an incredible moment of sort of, re of closure for me, having left the, the, the ballet world behind something I had trained so hard for and been so singularly focused on, on, on achieving. All of a sudden, I was doing it in this other context and had sort of fast-tracked to being in a studio alone, actually at the New York City Ballet Studios with Rosemary and, and Peter um, coaching me. It was an incredible, incredible moment of sort of return. <laughs>